Hello everyone, welcome to Botani Manor, given to me by Balloon Studios. I did record this previously, uh, unfortunately, OBS decided that it wanted to be a brat. So we are going to start again, and hopefully it will not mess up this time. Botani Manor, Somerset, 1890. Like why it's misty, foggy, whatever. I like cup of tea. I'd like that. I like cup of tea too. Earl Grey, please. Thank you very much. Arabella Green at Botany Manor, Sunset. That is me, I'm guessing. Forgotten Flora, a herbarium by Arabella Green. Nice looking book. <clears throat> Dear Arabella Green, thank you once again for submitting your proposal, Forgotten Flora. Please send this empty herbarium back to us once you have completed your research and will be in touch with a potential offer. Sincerely, Mayflower Publishing House. Forgotten Flora, research and compiled by Arabella Green. Mayflower Publishing House, 18. Oh, so there is one, two, three, four, five chapters in this game. This is Max, which is brilliant. And they are empty. Good book, good book. Definitely got for that. Okay. Lady Arabella, we're so happy to have you back at the Tenny Manor. I hope you had a lovely trip. In your absence, I'm afraid some things in the manor house have deteriorated. Though I can assure you, we tried our best to keep things in order. I hope it doesn't affect your research too much today. Bennett. Who is Bennett? Do you like a butler? Do I have my own butler? That would be nice. Uh, can I One new plant added. Let's see what we've got. Windmill wart. I want to grow the windmill wart to filter the smoggy air in my conservatory. But I'll need to research the temperature of the plants first. Is that the seed? That's a very pretty seed. Potting instructions. Pot. Soil. Seed water. Pot soil seed water. Pot soil seed water. And now I need to find out temperature requirements. Where am I looking? Here we are. Somerset falls victim to industrial smog. I can barely see. Horse bus drivers refuse to work in these conditions. You know what? In this kind of condition, we can barely see anything. Yeah, I wouldn't be wrong. Postcard from Marianne. Dearest dear Arabella, on my hike I came across the windmere wart, a flower that only grows in Sicily. Some locals told me the flower has air purifying qualities, but due to its bespoke temperature requirements, the plant rarely blooms. Maybe the flower could help with the smog pollution in your conservatory. Your friend and peer, Marianne. What a lovely name. Important clues get added to the herbarium, where you can assign them to plant. If you're stuck, tracking clues can help organise and validate your research. Fair enough. Open heat then. It doesn't stay open for long, does it? I suppose it just needs a small burst. Ooh, what's this? Wildflower. So we are doing the windmill wart, which is a volcanic flower. Fair enough. And it's from Sicily, so we are at 60 degrees. Brilliant. Alright, let's see. Postcard, all flowers, temperature. Tell us the clues. Right, oh! We are going to put you over here for a moment. 60 degrees, I'm guessing this thing. Yep. 60 degrees and whoosh! Oh, there it goes. Hey, very pretty. Oh, how pretty. It's actually a real flower, or is it? Oh, that one flower did all that. That's amazing. I actually wonder, is that actually a real flower, or is it just a made up one for the game? I'm not sure. The windmill water naturally grows in volcanic soil, which is why it requires a soil temperature of 60 degrees. The 
but contained elegant fine qualities which had a flower with a filter in the environment from dead That's good. I still can't believe it cleared out that much smog. That is a lot. Can I close doors? It can. No, it's not physics space. Ooh, what's over there? Drawing from nature. Oh. It's very peaceful out here. Is there anything about there? No. It's a nice conservatory though. I love when I'm dying to myself. Oh, hang on. Aha! I closed the door but I didn't click peek click. Where's the clicky click? Oh, I love the ambience. The music's really nice too. Love the art style. God, I love the art style. Very bright and flowing. And... Ooh, hello. What's this? Uh. What? That's just rude. <sighs> okay. Let's have a look. Ooh, what's this? What's this? There's something in the air. What's this? There's colour all around. What's this? There's a Tiny Manor, home of a green map. Okay, that just seems weird. Uh, ooh, key. Entrance garden. Thank you kindly. Nice post. Oh, I like that post box. Very old style. I'm currently busy researching. Please leave all deliveries at the gate house and leave without Arabella. So, is that the way out? I'm guessing? So. I understand the layout. So the manor is there. Wouldn't you go to the manor and not the gate house? Or is there a path there that opens and then... Oh, I don't understand. I don't understand. It's like an old, old, old English layout. Very old English with the manors and stuff. I don't think you actually have any manners in the UK like this. Oh. Well, this is pretty. I can't get close. I want to get close to that. Oh, what's this? a hat! Oh, there's a letter here. My dear friend, good luck on your trip. I would have loved to join you like in our younger days, but your tales about the trip will suffice when you visit. I will never forget the Maria Jackson passage you once highlighted to me. In examining plates, you take the authority of others, whereas in Batani, as in all other things, we can make little progress if we do not see for ourselves. Well, now you must travel and I'll and see some interesting specimens for yourself. I am inspired and look forward to hearing all about it. Your friend always, Ellen. What am I walking stick? Did they use cursive writing? I'm pretty sure that's what I'm re seeing all the time. Cursive writing. Ooh, what's here? Hello? Ah, it's open. Nice. Orchard? Ah. Of course, of course the door is locked. Why wouldn't they be? All the doors are locked. Okay, so this is the setup like earlier. Ooh, another letter. My dearest Arabella, I hope this letter finds you well as you set off for London on your important trip. The thought of you in the bustling city, working on your ambitions, both excites and worries me. Time has indeed passed, and yet your determination for your field remains inspiring to me. I never imagined all those years ago that we would be writing to each other in our fifth decade about such endeavours. I look forward to hearing about your progress, and of course, let me know how I can be of assistance upon your return. Your loving sister, Elizabeth. Elizabeth's a really old-fashioned name. It's very elegant, though. Hello, ducky. Don't know why you're there, but you're a ducky and I like you, ducky. Oh, why is there a tree in my house? What's his name? Bennett? Bennett, you've got some explaining to do. Why is there a tree in my house? Uh, fireplace. Same thing. Oh, what's this? Horton to London Paddington, issued for return journey, first class, early discount applied. 
when is June 1890? Elderly? I'm sorry, I've got a young voice still. Thanks to this marvellous... Ooh. Arabella's parents. I like those silhouette ones. That must be difficult to do, though. Maybe it's just me. Oh, seeds. Fulguria. I came across a Fulguria when I was caught in a terrible thunderstorm. I'm interested to learn more about its growth requirements. Okay. Blurry photo. I purchased a new camera and flash lamp to document my flowers. The picture looks a little blurry, though. I'll have to investigate the camera settings. Oh, that's really dark. The picture is so dark, impossible to see the flowers. I can't believe how quickly I've run out of that incredibly expensive flash powder. Oh, that's a really well done one. I'm very pleased with this picture. It looks like I'm getting a hang of the camera. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. It, they actually look pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. What camera you use? Uh... Is this where I tell everyone that I'm not the best at chemistry? All I remember is a bit of potassium in water will make it go kaboom if you're not careful. The art of painting in oil and fresco. Ooh. I do like the fact that we can sit down apparently. Anyone else notice how many chairs and stuff were around the manor? I suppose it does for like if you need a break or something and just want to relax and take everything in. That'd be nice. Yes, we are all just sharing oranges for dinner tonight. Yes, yes, the most finest oranges from all of India. Or oh, South Africa or something like that. Some ancient Celtic tribes practiced a coming of age ritual. This meant that when someone was considered old enough, it was time to prove themselves worthy of staying in the tribe. One of these rituals involved picking a flower in the woods. Though not just any flower, of course, the Gavra had to find a Bulgaria. But this flower is known to only bloom during thunderstorms, keeping a cool head while lighting lightning strikes. Were keeping a cool head while lightning flashes were striking left and right of you was considered the ultimate test of courage. Well, I like lightning. I like thunder. I like lightning. I like thunder. When I'm indoors, I'm not outside in it. Okay, so I'm gonna guess those were clues I just picked up. Let's see. Uh, photographs and folklore book. Let's have a look what else we've got. Mm. Arabella and Elizabeth. So I'm gonna guess I'm the one on the left and this is the one on the right. Ooh, what's this? Okay, letter. Your new Lumen photographic flash lamp. Fill the container with flash powder, close the container, press the button connected to the, to the camera and the Lumen flash lamp. When there's a bright flash. Ooh, is this a piano? Oh, harpsichord. Is there a difference between a harpsichord and piano? I do not know. And a key. Back to this. Let's have a look. Flash powder. Oh, this is what she keeps saying to run out of. It's empty. Potassium and magnesium, two to one ratio. Okay. Lady Arabella, these past weeks I have been seeing lots of bright flashes coming from the back room of your house. It scares my cows immensely, as they think a storm must be coming. My milk production has taken a hit because of this, and if you enjoy fresh milk in your morning cup of tea, I would advise you to keep the flashes to a minimum. Farmer Charles. Ha, <laughs> what kind of flashes are you talking about though, Farmer Charles? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so this is a really old style photo set. I actually had one of these done for me. Me and my big sis, uh, who lives in Sweden, we went to this yieldy styled photo studio. And they used that kind of thing. Alright, let's see if I've got any more. Whoops, did not mean that. Let's see. Uh, flash lamp manual. Flash powder bottle and letter from farmer. That'll also do it. So, 2 to 1 ratio potassium magnesium. Have a quick look. Okay, that is the mixture. Now to get the seed, which I think will be at the beginning. Soil, seed, water. Why did the echo 
so much just then. That was weird. Oh, it makes me feel like someone else is in the house. Please don't do that. Alright, let us put this. There should be another door there to get around. Oh well. I was not the architect. <laughs> Alright, two to one ratio, which we've sorted out. For an old woman, I can't quite spry when I'm running. Put this in. And kaboom. Ooh, pretty. Wow. That blew me fast. And that's a Fulgaria. Nice. Oh, that's pretty. Please tell me that's actually a real plant. That's very pretty. The Fulgaria only grows during thunderstorms where the flashes of lightning provide the bright light the flower needs to bloom. Because of its dangerous growing conditions, not many people have witnessed its beauty. Ah. How beautiful. Okay, unfortunately that is all I have time for today. Thank you so so much for Loom Studios for allowing me to play Botany Manor. I absolutely love the art style. I love the music, most of all. It's very relaxing and calming. I like the puzzle element. It's not entirely difficult, which makes it easy to get around and quite fun to actually work out. And I do want to know if those plants are actually real or not, because if they are, Holy hell, I want a Fulgaria. It is very, very beautiful. And guys, if you like the content I am putting out, link to my copy is in the description below. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye for now.